Okay, if at sunset you have the sun behind you, then I'm going to show you why I believe the sunset is entirely gravity caused rather than some, some other cause. I'm going to put the shadow of the earth right here and we're going to make this blue stripe by the horizon because the sunset is like a rainbow that is projected across and then the shadow of the earth stays blue. If the color was simply from the atmosphere coloring the light, my question would then be why do we have the blue directly under the sunset? Shouldn't that be also colored? So I don't think that it's just the distance in the atmosphere coloring it because this part right by the colorful light is not colored at all. Yet we have the color coming across and I'll show you in a second here. So we're gonna add a little bit of magenta to take out my green effect, but for the most part, I want this to be a bluish color. And again, this is the shadow of the earth. The sun is going down, and this is just where the light is not going down that low. So then above this, I'm gonna do the colors of my rainbow. I'm not gonna just make some bright orange colors of a sunset. I'm actually gonna think about this as a rainbow. The gravity has pulled out the spectrum above the red frequency. The red is the only thing that survives the journey this far. So we start with red. I'm gonna add white to that. And you're gonna see very soon that this is a very familiar sight. Okay, we've got the red first, right here. And I have to add extra amounts of white wherever red meets blue because it makes a dark result. So I'm gonna add some white here just to lighten my transition. Right here, I'll put white in there. Then I've got my red light. Now I have to move to more orange colored light because if it is a rainbow, then it needs to have more of the, you know, orange, green, blue. It has more of that spectrum in here. So when I start adding that back in, the light, if I think about adding more green lights into there, then this is gonna turn more orange. So let me put a strip of yellow and mix that with red up here, and then put a lot of white again. We're making our rainbow. Let's put a little bit more yellow in there. And then lots and lots of white. Does anybody have more white that I could buy? Do you mind if I use that? And since it's more of the spectrum, it's more light, which means it's lighter. It's going to be brighter color. So now we've got red, orange, and we can even go all the way to a very yellow color if this is a, okay. if this is a really oh, thorough, okay. well-separated sunset. It might be projecting a lot of the rainbow. But my theory is it never fully separates the light, only to, some, only to some degree. So this is why you don't see a bunch of green up there because it's all pulled out to get the red. It's gradually added back in to go from red to orange to yellow then to white. So of course we're not gonna see green because what we did to get the red was gradually pull the rest of the spectrum out. So we're adding the spect spectrum back into the light as it gets higher altitude. So now yellow when it meets blue atmosphere needs to turn gray, not green, because this is light and not paint. So what I'm gonna do is put my gray in place up here. Thank you very much for the white. I'm gonna put a gray sky here and it's gonna turn a little bit green, which means I have to add magenta to undo that green and then just add enough white to make it still look like the brightness of a sky. And then when I bring that down here, I start to see the disappearance of some of this yellow. Let's put more magenta, see that green that's showing up? Yeah, yeah. We don't want that. Let's add magenta to get rid of that. White to brighten it so that it looks nice and light. And because I can use this model to make 
a very believable sky. And I actually have seen these look a tiny bit, just a tiny bit green when this happens. But it's always just a subtle amount. I can use this model to make a very believable distant sky. Let me rinse out that brush. Five minutes. Oh, five minutes. <laughs> okay. So up in here, I might start to see a little bit of my of my blue sky showing up. So let's do let's do a little bit of my blue and make sure I add lots of magenta so that it so that it doesn't uh, turn green. Okay. There. I usually don't see nearly that much yellow. The yellow in order to follow this model needs to be a smaller amount than the red. So it kind of gets exponentially smaller as it goes up. So I'm going to add a little more of the red and white right in this middle area. Because I just think the, the yellow is just a little bit much. Not what I normally see. So that rainbow gets projected, that spectrum. The light's separating because where it's closer to the earth, it, it just gets pulled down. All of the spectrum other than the red gets pulled down out of it. And then I have this. So then clouds, this is the fun part, is you'll have clouds in here like this. And when they're way up here, they'll be more yellow. And then when we're way down here, they'll be more red. So let's put yellow up in here. Let's put red down in here. And then let's use a little bit of blue and magenta around the edges to make it like the face is getting lit up more than the backside. So let's put this little bit of purple around here so that it doesn't turn green. Let's put a little bit of a shadow under there. Like that, put a little bit of that shadow around there. Right here. And then in perspective, this blue comes over our heads because this is above our eyes. So we can actually put some blue clouds in here in the background, these are going to just be at lower altitude. They're just not getting, they're just not up high enough to catch all the colored light. So these are still in the Earth's shadow. I can make these clouds in the background just with that bluer color. Let's put lots of white in there. And just a gray ends up looking pretty, pretty blue against these colors. Then we'll go a little bit darker at the base. Let's put more of the blue and magenta down here. Blue, magenta. Let's get more of that magenta to take out my turquoise look. I don't want that turquoise look at these clouds. Let's put these darker colors around the edge here. Put this around here. <clears throat> so this one's down in the shadow, but this one is actually coming up into the light. So let's put the darker color down here, but then as this goes up, it gets all of this color in it. So we can really make this cloud glowing. Let's just put more color in it so that it looks more like that. I need to put more red and white. More red and white to really get that to pop out because it's in perspective. This cloud's closer, so that brings the red up. And then I'm going to add a little more yellow at the top. There's already some yellow in there. And then add more white. So this high altitude cloud gets all that color. And, and then it gets redder as it goes down. Then it turns to the blue as it goes closer to the shadow of the earth in front of this one. So let's go down here and add this. Blue and magenta again. I want to make this one closer. How am I doing on time? You have one minute. Oh, let's finish up the edge of this cloud. Then let's do some clouds on here. Watch this. You know why these are like this? Because they're getting closer to us, so that raises them up in front of that more distant rainbow. The perspective brings the far further away color up. So these clouds, just like this one, are in the shadow of the earth and that causes them to be this this blue violet silhouette in front of this brighter sky and you'll see that tonight when you go outside and you look at the evening sky at sunset 
you can look at the eastern sky and see this happening. All right, I'm done. One more thing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the time. <laughs> I like to do this. I like to put the dark clouds in front of this because it's pretty. Mm -hmm. So this would be a cloud that's much closer than all of these. So, so the height is changing the distance from me. So I'm going to put a bigger cloud coming across there because it's fun to have in the perspective. All right.